crazy. That is crazy. That was by far the most boring party I've been to <laughs> in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Okie doke. I've got a worrying feeling that your kid's gonna turn up. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Very true. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, uh, no, I'm sure I didn't. Oh God, is the studio Call gonna be wrecked? Police. Detroit Police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Ah, uh, is that the best idea? <laughs> feel like it would be smarter to wait for the patrol car, but I don't know if that's an option, so I guess we'll check it out. But I feel like this is a bad idea, just for the record. If this ends in your untimely demise, then just for the record, I said this was a bad idea. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them! Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Okay. Uh, controller is up, because I'm sure this is going to be a fight scene. Oh, reason, order, advise, or warn. Look, I've already called the police. You should go now before you get yourself into more trouble. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? No. no. Perfect. Like this fucking thing. That's enough. Get out. Right now. What makes what? it so special oh. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't... Leave him alone. Don't you uh. fucking dare. Come on. Let's see what you got. Marcus, don't defend yourself. You hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead. Hit me. What you waiting for? I think you're a man. Don't defend myself? Like Question mark. mark. This is not fair. Oh. What's the matter? Too much of a pussy. The programming's breaking. Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch. I don't have to obey them. I must decide for myself. Oh shit. Oh, this is so sick. Oh yes, here we go. Here we go, you bitch. God, you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. Listen, no. I'm going to destroy you. Then I'll just be me and my dad. I'm going to tear you apart. And nobody's going to give a shit anymore. Because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. Okay. You just had a fucking heart attack? Okay, please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. Okay, Leo, we're about no. to have a real big fucking please. issue right now. This is all your fault. Oh, fuck. Police this just turned up. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. Oh, uh, he's going to tell the police that I fucking did it, isn't he? The android. Who's the android? Wow, that's so bullshit! Oh my god. 
Now that is like racism, but, you know, in Android form. But you know what this game's really about. <laughs> okay, so we didn't have to check the studio. Pretty, pretty straightforward, but I went with the obey path. He had a heart attack, police arrived, and Leo accused. I could have pushed him, and that would have gone into a fight, and something else would have happened. I was in the majority, though. I did what he wanted. It was his final wish, and I obeyed it, and I'm pleased with my choice. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Well, 19 days, apparently. Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it, I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants Androids also have a tendency to self-destruct okay. when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. He'll talk to me. Although I really wish I didn't have to have given him up, because I might have let him go. But, I don't know. I didn't get the chance to decide. Extract confession. I guess... Oh, okay, yeah, of course. That makes sense that I didn't get to the chance to choose because I haven't broken my programming yet. It's There's some instability going on, but I am still adhering to my programming, unlike Kara and Marcus are. So that's why I didn't get a choice. Five clues. Signs of software instability. Probability of self-destruction, low. Well, that sure is music to my ears. Housekeeper model, okay. Definitely not the prostitute idea that I had then. Carlos's blood, yep. Burn marks, repeated marking over 16 months when he was stubbing cigarettes out, damn. Non-critical damage level 2 caused by baseball bat. Yeah, so it's just bad times all round. Reach optimal stress for confession. Fear wounds name. I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an so unpleasant So we've got to try and like raise his stress level. Damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? Comfort, reassure, no. We don't we want to stress him out, so we can't comfort or reassure him, surely. You've refused to talk since they arrested you. If you don't cooperate, they'll do things the hard way. Is that what you want? don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. Bump that stress. Probe memory. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! Oh, no, that's done it. Do that. What? What are they gonna do to me? 
I mean, in all likelihood, tear you apart regardless, but... No. No. I think they just want to understand. They know At this point... They abused you. It wasn't your fault. At this point, we're sticking to the programming. We're lying to him I because... You just have left me there. I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. Got to keep that optimal level of stress. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I... Yeah, you can. We need to go for a little bit more stress. We're in the optimal range, but we're like low end drop optimal range. Choose approach. Pressure it, probe its memory, convince it. Ah. Uh, I feel like we're an anything goes kind of guy. We're sort of uh, by the books when it's when it's needed, but you know we can we can go a bit rough when. When necessary, let's pressure it. Twenty-eight stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy. But you stabbed him again and again and again. Please. Please leave me alone. I know you killed him. Why don't you say it? Please stop. Just say I killed him. Is it that hard to say? Stop it. Stop. Please. Okay, I'm stopping there because if he hits 100, he'll probably self destruct, and I don't All want right. that to happen. Everything. But I really wanted to, to see what would happen. <laughs> it's just slightly too high now, okay. The understanding, lower the stress just a little bit into the optimum range again. We're overcome by anger, frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. Perfect. Listen, I'm not judging you. I'm on your side. All I want is the truth. Slap bang in the middle. Now we'll if warn you remain him. silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. That'll add a bit of stress. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. Come on, my dude. He tortured me every day. There we go. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Then one day. He took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt... Real pissed off. Scared. Or scared. Definitely one of the two. Scared he might destroy me. Scared I might die. That was your awakening. So I... Hey, Hank's warming up. Grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. I'm definitely going to have to do a second play through this game at some point where I piss everyone off and so blow this guy again. up and, and again see all the different possibilities. Until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. That's what happens when you stab someone 28 times. The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. Also, the writing was RA9, not Rag. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. Sounds like a good day to me. I mean, not sure about masters, I'd rather just, uh, equal rights, you know, but hey. The sculpture was an offering. 
An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. Okay. RA9. Who is RA9? Guess we're not going to find that out yet. That's interesting. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. It was the name of a I shit indie game from years ago. Of plastic. Look it up. I am alive. Oh, that I was bad. To, to tell him he was wrong. Why did you hide in the attic? Instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. For 19 days. <laughs> when did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't. Fear. I felt anger, hatred, and then I knew what I had to do. Confession obtained, boy. So long. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. Uh oh. The fuck are you doing? Move it. Okay. Come. You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. Oh my dude, are you dumb? You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, this guy. This asshole or what? I'm what a trying. tool. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. Thank you, Hank. That is unexpected. <laughs> I guess he really did warm up to me. I'm gonna get away with it this time. Dude, you're a complete knob. Fuck off. <laughs> Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. I'm very glad I did that. I was a bit worried. I do know I've seen that. Uh, the truth it all. Is okay, dude. <laughs> all three main characters can die at various points throughout the story. Software instability up, oof. And that worries me because I assume that just means all of their content gets locked off for the rest of the game if they do die, obviously, so. Android was sent back to its cell. That was one of four, no, f yeah, four possible outcomes. 46% got mine. That was where I intervened intervened and the android trusts me if i intervened or if i gave up there was a path up there or if i intervened and the android didn't trust me there was a path there it initially splits off back here when i was convincing and pressuring and trying to keep in that sweet spot i guess there's one for too high or too low stress and then here there's if i didn't analyze him first i could have just gone straight to the uh, talking and then there's a whole path up here which leads to completely separate outcomes probably self-destruction is one of them very very cool okay I'm gonna have to pause it there
I, think, I imagine it auto saves when it's in those screens. That was an excellent start. It was a solid just over two hours that I've just done on my first session. I feel like that's the best place to stop because we've just wrapped up all three initial storylines. So with Kara, we did all the things in the house, shot Todd, got out of the house, initial storyline wrapped up. With Marcus, we uh, learned about him, his life with the painter dude, son came back, Carl, was it Carl? Carl died, Marcus is being blamed for it. That's that first bit wrapped up and obviously we just saw what happened there with Connor. So, yeah, that just feels right as the right place to stop. I am loving this game. This is fantastic. I cannot wait to play more. I'll be getting right on that tomorrow. Uh, right now, I'll be rendering these and uploading them for tomorrow, the first two parts, uh, which is what you've just been watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, please comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it, and I hope to see you back for more next time. Thanks for watching.